see them right. at, the, uh, at the big show. <laughs> that's right. That's it for Fox 9 News at 9. Fox's 10 at 10 starts right now. From the Twin Cities Broadcast Center, this is Fox 9's 10 at 10 with Kelsey Carlson and Randy Meyer. That's how we've won all year, team, right? Hey, you held them to 20 points, man. Yes, you sir. gave us a chance at the end, but I got three words for you. You like that? They like that. An overtime thriller with no miracle necessary this time. The Vikings are on to San Francisco after taking down the New Orleans Saints at the Superdome. No easy task. Welcome to Fox 9's 10 at 10. I'm Randy Meyer. And I'm Kelsey Carlson, and we have Jim Rich here with more on the Vikings' playoff victory in New Orleans today. It did take some great plays on offense. We saw some, some nice catches and some other good plays. Delvin Cook ran like he hadn't been there a while and was doing a great job. But it was, Jim, the defense, it seemed like, that really kicked it into high gear today as you turn on your microphone so we can hear your response to my long-winded question. Question. I wanted to give you time to share that knowledge with everybody. But you're right. It was the offense did their part. But the real key going into this, you remember last Friday when the news broke that the Vikings were going to be without defensive backs, Mackenzie Alexander and Mike Hughes. Vikings fans thought for sure that Drew Brees, the most accurate passer in the NFL, would slice and dice his way right through that Vikings secondary. But Mike Zimmer devised a scheme that baffled Breeze and allowed the Vikings to upset the Saints on their home turf. Mike Zimmer